In the previous video, we covered the structure of Ethernet frames. Specifically, we saw that each frame carries two addresses, first, the destination address, and second, the source. We mentioned that the destination address appears first, so the receiver will be able to tell whether the frame is relevant for him. If not, the frame will be discarded. What does an Ethernet address look like? As we mentioned in the last video, an Ethernet address consists of 6 bytes, that is, 48 bits. Usually, they are presented in hexadecimal base, delimited either by dashes or colons, as you can see in these examples. These are two representations of the exact same Ethernet address, and there is no real difference between the two. In general, Ethernet addresses are globally unique. That is, no two Ethernet devices share the same address. To achieve this, the first three bytes of any address is called the OUI, Organizationally Unique Identifier. IEEE assigns these OUIs to various manufacturers, such as Dell, HP, or IBM. This part of the address is also called the Vendor ID. Then, the manufacturers assign the remaining three bytes to specific hosts. This part is also called the host ID. For example, the OUI 000142 belongs to Cisco. Now, Cisco can manufacture a network card and assign it the address 000142000001. Next, it can manufacture another card and assign it the address 0001420000002, and so on. These two addresses share the same vendor ID, but have different host IDs. Since a single OUI leaves three bytes to be used for the host IDs, we have two to the 24th power host IDs per OUI, that is 16,777,216 host IDs. Of course, big manufacturers need many more addresses and thus they are assigned additional OUIs. For example, 000164 is another OUI that belongs to Cisco. Ethernet addresses also consist of two spatial bits. The first special bit indicates whether the address is a unicast or a multicast address. This bit is the least significant bit within the most significant byte. Uh, wait, what have I just said? Let's look at the following Ethernet address for an example. The most significant byte is this one, 06. Let's convert this to binary. Now we'll look at the least significant bit, that is this zero right here. This bit is off, so this means that this is a unicast address. In other words, it belongs to a single device, such as a computer's network card. Let's consider another address. The most significant byte here is 1 1. Let's convert this to binary. The least significant bit here is this one. Since it is on, we can tell that this is a multicast address. That is, it's an address of a group. We can send a frame to this address and all devices that belong to this group will consider the frame as sent to them. One very famous multicast address is called the broadcast address. That is, the group that contains all machines. The address of this group is in other words, the address where all bits are on. All the machines are part of the broadcast group. The second spatial bit indicates whether the address is indeed globally unique. This bit is the second least significant bit within the most significant byte. Um, what is that again? Well, let's look at examples. So, let's consider the first address. The first byte is 06 and if we convert it to binary, we get... So the second least significant bit is the one right here. This bit is on, and thus we know that this address is actually not globally unique. IEEE will never assign this address to any vendor. 
So what is this address? Well, in this case, it's just one that I've made up. If I wanted to, I could assign it to a specific device. The fact that this bit is on declares that it is not globally unique. Let us consider the first address we've seen in this video. The first byte here is 0, 0, so the second least significant bit is obviously 0. This is indeed a globally unique address assigned to Cisco, as we've mentioned before. So, all in all, an Ethernet address has two main parts, the vendor ID and the host ID. There are also two spatial bits, the least significant bit within the most significant bytes states whether the address is unicast or multicast. The second least significant bit within the most significant byte states whether the address is globally unique. In the next video, we shall look at Ethernet frames in Wireshark and, of course, consider the addresses that they carry.